All right, guys, welcome back to the show. If you are just joining us, it is still East Flash, and we told you that we have a guest on our show today. So joining us on the show is a 23-year-old health cake worker whose motto is grab the bull by the horns and forage ahead, which has helped her navigate the highs and lows life throws her way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Big Brother Naija, level up, ex-housemate, Amaka! <laughs> I'm tempted to pronounce Amaka the way Amaka goes. Amaka! <laughs> what the hell is that? Why do you do that? What? It's just, it's just general bad behavior. Bad behavior. Bad behavior. <laughs> How are you, Amaka? I love it. Fine, it's you. so good to have you here. Now, don't even pretend to be quiet because mm. what? No. no, we saw all Hell the no. drama. You gave us a show. You actually yes. gave us a show and we enjoyed it while it lasted. In fact, yeah. I was one of the people who was wondering why? Why yes. would they just randomly evict Amaka on a Monday? Mm -hmm. Like it was so strange. Mm. Uh -uh. Did she say that? <laughs> yes. How did I now feel? How did you feel about that? Because I was actually looking at you and your reaction. But, well, for me, at that moment, it was just um, more about um, the only thing that could run through my head at that moment was like, I was just thinking about my family, how they were going to cope with it. Because for me, I knew it was good. And immediately I stepped out of that door. The first person I spoke to, I was like, you know what, well, how do we make money in this industry? Hmm. The game is over. Yeah. It will get it's all, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> As in, we should be playing flavor now. I'm telling you. <laughs> what? Yeah, you definitely gave us a show. Um, the microwave incident. Yeah. Uh, that was such an unplanned. It was you apologizing to the romancing the microwave after. Like, how did you feel that day? Because um, people were saying, oh, that you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have. But I feel like that's something you've probably already been making before because people didn't even know you could use microwave to make meat pie. So what, like, what happened? Well, I checked the um, the oven and it was not able to come up on. Yeah. So I know baking time for meat pie is 10 minutes for me. So I decided to use the microwave since it's the same heat. Yeah. But I did um, quality control. I just did only one dough of meat pie at a time to just check. Because yes. I was supposed to make 21 for the 21 housemates. So I put that one there and then I did 20 minutes because on oven is 10 minutes. Okay. So because of microwave, I did 20 minutes. And Big Brother said we should leave the house and go to the garden. So I kept speaking into my microphone that Big Brother, I have something in the microwave. Big Brother, I have something in the microwave. So when I started perceiving some bone smell, I felt like he, was, he, he, had, he had removed it because for him to say we should leave um, the house, I felt he was sending technicians respect of my oven that I, I was asking him to help me turn on. So I never knew it was going to be something really big. And when I got in, they had already changed the microwave. So I couldn't just understand where the smoke was coming from. And then um, I felt like I was not supposed to talk about what's going on in the house. Like if I'm perceiving anything, I'm not supposed to say it. So I just... I see. Life has no mouth. It is even the gut for me. How do you people send Big Brother on, on errands? Errand. You thought <laughs> Big Brother There's no fear was Big Brother. going to remove you help fear you. Big brother. Ah, ah, please, where did they bring all of you? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Diana would be Big like, brother, yeah, uh, buy salt. You, you said you thought that Big Brother was. Like, <laughs> people have got to. Oh, I've never seen a set like this before in my life, in my history of watching Big Brother. Even, eh... Uh, Esco of Big Brother. Have you? We did, you did you behave like this? Ah, if Big Brother did it, once we hear the voice, everybody could just cold. <laughs> so I don't know who was the person that said, Big Brother, we don't hear now, we don't hear. Ah. There was even somebody that said, hmm, it's like they've changed Big Brother with uh, voice today. It's, it's not in the mood. It's like oh, yeah? Big Brother went to the club like... today. <laughs> ah, your set terrorized us. What? Nice, nice. OK, so um, where, well, after your eviction and you came out, um, one of your interviews, you did say, that you had a dream before yeah. your eviction. So tell us about that. Well, in the house, since you're not able to talk to anybody, I feel like your mind works more mm. and your instincts is the only best friend you have there. So for me, before everything, anything happens in the house, mm. I just feel it in me. 
before I'm being put up for nomination, I just get this strong feeling you're going to be up. And once they call the names, I'll be up. And then the dream, the, the week I was not up, I had a dream. I, I saw, like, the week I was saved, I saw people voting for me in my dream. I just oh. knew I was going to be saved. Then the following week that I was not really, really, I was saved, but I, I, I was not really top, top, top. I had a dream too, and I saw um, I am Modella. We're trying to, we're in haste, trying to buy some things. Mm. And um, wow. I saw the merger. I saw our, our room and other housemates wow. on our bed. And I was like, oh, this could be a merger. But I never knew that that haste meant that your time would soon be up. Yep. Oh, wow. uh. Then the next week, when it was that time I was supposed to leave, hey. I actually saw everywhere in the Big Brother's house closing up. Wow. Like, it was closing up to a, a plain wall and a very colorful, a very colorful wall. So I did not understand the dream until later, I think the next day, I got evicted. Hmm. So maybe you can start like psychic services. You get. If you make money, you'll just I'm say, come, I can't see you. I will get your... money, I'll not go get money. <laughs> Ha. I will get money. Because if she money you must make her. Because if she if she tells you that she yeah. will get money. Ah, well, uh, this show no go end, though. All right, Tamaka. In... Uh, the last week you spent there yeah. was really tough because I saw that it was almost like everybody was just against, against you. you. Yeah. The noise saying that, oh, you are a rumor monger, you are a this, you said this, you did not say this. Even your friend, Fina, I don't even know how you felt because I really want you to tell me how you feel about your friendship with Fina. Like, this is my question, is like in two... He's A and B. But, but don't worry. <laughs> tell me, first of all, how you feel about your friendship with Fina. Well, for me, um, I value friendship. I, I do not bring a lot of people close to me because can be very extroverted, so I just want trusted allies around me only. And then, um, again, my friendship with Fina, I, I really do not know. I feel like when she comes out from the house, we're going to do a check and balance and mm. see if we are on the same page, because a lot has been said. I came out from the house, everybody's saying, oh, this girl is not, was not a nice friend to you. Huh? But for me, in the house, I saw her as my very, very, very close friend. So I'm not going to write her off based on that. I would just wait for her to come out and then um, we'll see things through and know where All right, we second are. chances. All right, now, now let's talk about, you know, what I said the first time, like everybody being against you. Yeah. And I think that I felt a type of way too for you on your behalf when all fingers were pointed, pointed at, you, at you, or yeah. a particular finger saying that you were the one, uh, uh, you know, uh, throwing sanitary towels about because you were on your period at the time. How did that feel? For me, it was like I was the last person to hear about that. I never wow. knew. They were saying it on their own that mm -hmm. particular day. I felt like there was no need of, maybe because I was not ranting. Mm. I was not ranting because even when we were upstairs, I was the first housemate that volunteered to clean the toilet and bedroom because mm -hmm. I really wanted to be neat. And then coming downstairs, I also said that was where I wanted to take care of because I'm very particular about it. In short, before I use it every time, I always clean it up. And they know. While we were upstairs, um, we never had that sanitary pad issue. Upon the merger, we started having that sanitary pad issue. And again, why would they say that is it because I, I was the one that the camera caught that was um, that, stained. that st got stained mm. at, um, at that point? And again, am I the woman with the issue of blood? How will I have my <laughs> period all through? We had our pool party. How will I have my period all through? And I just, you know, you, you have an instinct that someone is talking about you. Yeah. I just felt some type of way. So I went to um, Alison. I asked her, like, I feel like there are other people that are... Uh, on their uh, menstrual flow because I am not. And she was like, yes, that she is on her menstrual flow. I asked Doing, and Doing said, yes, that she is on her menstrual flow. So why is all fingers pointing at me? You? And I and Chi Chi, we already finished ours. And for me, why I wasn't shouting was because how can all the girls in the house be shouting about menstrual flow? First of all, it's a public embarrassment again. Then I... I I feel like we would have spoke about it together. together. Like, yeah. We cannot come to the lounge and be screaming about things like that. 
Then again, why is everybody shouting about something like that? Then who did it if everybody's <laughs> screaming? So what I was just saying is, we are all shouting. Is it the guys that did it or is it the ninjas <laughs> that did it? That's what I was saying. And they wanted yeah, to and eat everybody me. took, yeah. They were like, why did I say ninjas? Why did I say this? So it's like anything that comes out from my mouth is problem, so. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we still have the amazing reality TV star in the building, Amaka. And we'll go on a short break. After this, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Amaka, welcome ah. back. We still have Big Brother Niger Level Up, ex housemate Amaka in the building. Yeah. What, what was your most fun moment in the house? I feel like it would be um, diary sections and then. Um, Mostly Thursday parties and them. Um, okay. Let's just say Thursday parties. So, but those are your parties that drama used to happen. So people will be dancing <laughs> here, people will be gossiping. I've the never side. even. What? Seen. People will left your one turn up the week to go. That and is eat. another thing about this particular ah. level. Eh? This season. <laughs> We used to enjoy parties, like let us party. We are home, we are partying with you people. Yeah. But you people, you will not. Then you will now go See, to another channel. You will now hear that somebody left party to be crying. Do you understand? Like somebody was dancing. Do you know this why, Saturday? Why am I going to stress us? Last Saturday, this Saturday that just passed, do you know that? I was like, it was not even 11 o'clock yet. So that means they were not even one hour into the party. Some people were outside. Were out, Some people were, they just turned it to another thing. I said, hey, I wonder how the DJ was feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you people like that? <laughs> All right, a lot of things uh, um, on my mind to ask you, Amaka. So we had um, Fam Savi here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was, it, it was actually talking. We asked him questions and then he said, you disappointed him. Amaka disappoints me. In fact, they sang yeah, that song. Like, <laughs> <laughs> because he really wanted you. But you, you were kept saying, ha, you want to use me as a strategy. Yeah. You want to, Amaka, why did you not cool down? Why? <laughs> I mean, you had a dream about him as well. That did that. not work yeah, out. That did not work why out. Why strategy? <laughs> that is my What do you have me. to say about that? Well, um, from Savi is an awesome person. He is, is an awesome person. But me, as Amaka, um, I'm not the kind of person that over time, I, I'll, okay, there are some ladies that with time, if you keep on being nice or Applying doing, pressure. Yeah, I would, uh, like, if I don't, no is no, yes is yes. Yes, queen, That's how tell them. You, you get. So if you like, you bring a truck of one billion, sorry, no mm. is no. Do you understand? So um, I felt like I was not, maybe I would have become attracted to him or, or maybe I would have started having something. But at that moment, let's just say at that moment, I saw him as a friend. Do we play all our nasty, nasty yeah. stuff? You know what? That's who I am. If I'm close to somebody, I'm like, you know. But did you say that he's short and that he's not your type? I never said that. That's where the problem came from. Wahala. <laughs> Maybe um, he was always coming to tell me like, you're not. Um, do you think that I'm not your type or like trying to create a narrative that oh, I'm not going for this guy because he's not the kind of man I want. Which I do not want that narrative to sell that oh, Amaka yeah. is looking down on this oh, guy. Yeah. I just wanted it to be like Amaka chose someone. It's a preference like, thing. Yes, this is what I want. So I don't want it to be like oh because he's not tall and so that's why I was I kept on killing it every time he comes with that I'm like this is becoming too much is this a strategy or what like you, you're coming I see. that's let's that let's talk about your microphone infringement <laughs> <laughs> no, your multiple multiple <laughs> microphone <laughs> infringement warning especially which you eventually that your voice led, is loud yeah, <laughs> and eventually led to your strike what was going on what happened and how hard is it to actually even remember you how hard is it to actually even remember because me, I feel like I'll be forgetting. Oh no, there was a time I forgot to. I think it was cross that I had to run back to go and pick the microphone. <laughs> so what happened? Well, um, for me, I'm not going to blame anybody over anything concerning microphone. It's on me, you get. I was the one that was making a whole lot of mistakes. If I come out from the bathroom, I want to like say something and I'll forget that I removed the microphone in the first place. Then again, I was, I always wished that there was someone that would we tell me. Always tell you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Without shouting like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amaka, you have left your microphone again yeah. so wow. that the whole world knows that yeah, yeah. I have done that again. Yeah. Because for 
the time that Big Brother played that video, you see that it's not a deliberate, no, no one deliberately mm -hmm. wants to be called every time. Mm -hmm. Even when Big Brother says, this is Big Brother, I'm always checking myself. <laughs> Before, because I was already tired of the whole thing. Yeah. So I wish there was someone that would be like, Look out for you. Do you understand? Yeah. Instead of trying to make it a fun situation mm. for everybody to like, a marker you have come again. Like, and, and, and that could have been thinner, but... Well, everybody's actually very different. Mm -hmm. Depending on your level of... Maybe if we had... I don't know. I don't want to say anything like... But I feel like it's depending on your level of understanding. Yeah. If it were me, uh, if it were to be me yeah. and I had um, a friend or... Any random person, and I know you have been consistently getting into this trouble, hmm. I would just... Keep uh, eyes on you. All right, so you, you spoke about um, when you got out of the house, first thing you're saying is, how are we making money? <laughs> so what are your plans? What have you decided that you want to do? Well, for me, uh, Maki Billions, the brand, Ooh. my brand. Okay. okay. I'm open to collaborations, nice. partnership. I am open to being your brand ambassador, Aww. your beautiful influencer, hey. <laughs> and many other things. Um, I hope to launch my skincare brand and um, a clothing line. Oh, that's amazing. And okay, and hopefully you'll give us meat pie brand. Let's, <laughs> oh, let's now taste yeah. this, this billion dollar meat pie. Oh, yes. Maybe yes. that. We're going to give you value <laughs> and we pray for longevity. Okay, and you've started receiving gifts too because um, mm. I think Nengi gave you this. Yeah. Hey, I said and I, I said yes. This you is it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not do oh, You are going sorry. to pay. You are going yeah. to pay. You are going to pay. And I learned that your fans, they've started gifting you stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I want to know how this thing works though because what? <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know what? I, I, I really don't understand the love yeah. But the thing is that when you come out and you see people, because um, on the game, mm -hmm. I was just being me. Even if the world would go right, mm. I can be the only one going left. And the thing is that you would value everybody that decides to trust you and yeah. go left with, with you. you. Mm. So I will never for one minute joke with them. Mm. I love them from the... I don't know how to explain it. I Hi. cannot imagine... I'm I'm I've never loved someone this much. I love People that I don't even yeah. physically don't, know. Yes, because they love me without knowing me. Oh, yeah. Amaka, so uh, we're going to put you on the spot. So who... <laughs> she knows. Who is your potential winner? Who do you think would um, win the money and take it home? Um, well, I've not been following the show like that, like that, too. But we can see that Brian, Fina, and Hermes are on the spot dragging the money. Um, I wish them all luck. Okay. I choose one person. Ah, ah. <laughs> I was in a choose one person. <laughs> all right. Thank you so very much for coming on the show. We loved having you. Love your energy, by the way. Yes, yeah. Queen. Yeah. And that's it with our guest for today. What are you watching? Is coming up right after this break. <laughs>